Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Indie Book Review, where today I am reviewing uh, Atonement by J.L. Rothstein. This is the first book of the Heaven Sent tri series, maybe a trilogy, I don't know, there's only one book out so far, so who, who, who's to say where this is going to go? And let's get into this. So, first of all, what is this book about? So, it centers itself around a family of guardians. And guardians are a group of people who basically protect certain people. I don't know why that part's not really explored very much. Probably get into it later in later books. It's not really important. Uh, guardians have special powers. They're connected to heaven, friends with angels, all that fun stuff. Well, when one, when a demon decides it wants to try and have a pregnant woman take her own life, the main character, Jen, uh, intervenes, kills the demon, and later on, the demon comes back, is all like, I was killed unprovoked, and I want my vengeance. And the demon, and that demon has come back with amped up powers, and the guardians, the Omara family, have to figure out a how to beat this demon and two where these powers came from and there's a bunch of little side plots spread throughout as well for the most part the plot does a pretty good job of keeping a person's interest it did drag a little bit in the middle just as characters are starting to try and figure things out but for the most part that's not really uh like it didn't kill the book for me in in any way it did make things just drag a little bit that's all all right, and now the characters. The characters are fun. The characters are good. They're well written. Some of them are a little caricature-y. Like Kelly is pretty character-y. Same as Deb in her own way. Uh, Jen's pretty fleshed out. Michael's pretty fleshed out. Well, Michael's pretty character-y, I suppose. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The characters in and of themselves, are pretty good. They're like, they're written well. There's a lot of room to explore with the characters, so even the character style characters, there's room to there's room to grow. And all all the characters did grow. Well, at least the upfront characters grew uh, for the most part. There are other members of the Omara family that we just didn't really get a lot of chance to get to know, like Tom, for example. Or Xavier. Xavier? Xavier? We didn't get to know them as well as, say, Genevieve, or Kelly, or Deb, or Mike. So, it's not really a big deal. It's just kind of what it was. And now the writing. The writing is... The writing was really, really good. The writing, like I said, it kept my interest. And that is a big thing. If it keeps my interest and keeps me wanting to read it, then that is, the, then that's what's important. Because it can be a great plot, but if it's not well written, or at least written competently, then I'm probably going to start losing interest regardless of what's going on. That I've read a few books, hell, I've reviewed a few books like that, where the plot is actually really interesting, but there are just certain aspects of it that just don't hold me. This one held me. This one actually kept me guessing and kept me wondering what's going to happen next. What these characters are going to do and how the hell they're going to get out of the situation that they're in. That's a really big thing for me. And that I really, really appreciate. All in all, this book is, is really, really good. And then we get to the ending. And the ending is pretty much how I expected it to go. Like, where the book was going, there didn't really leave a lot of areas for the book to end uh, positively no logically it didn't leave a lot of room for book the, the book to end logically in a, lo in a lot of different areas it was just kind of always going to one specific place and that's good that's actually kind of a good thing with a book like this especially especially the first book of a series you want it to kind of a leave room for more but also have a bit of a definitive ending to it as well. And it's something that I appreciated seeing. All in all, I'm going to give Atonement an 
8 out of 10. It does a pretty good job of being what it needs to be. And that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. The book knows what it is. The book tries hard to be what it is. And it succeeds in spades. The author did a fantastic job with it. And I actually recommend this one. This one, while it didn't blow me away, it definitely impressed me. Trust me, it requires something extremely special to blow me away. But it also requires something really, really good to impress me as well. And this one impressed me. So this one gets an 8 out of 10. Now let's face it, for a book that only really loses points for dragging a little in the middle, that's pretty good. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. So if you like what I do, check out more of my videos. Otherwise, have a good one, folks.